हेलो एवरीवन आई एम लोकेश एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू माउंट ब्लू एल्गोरिथम कोडिंग क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट वीडियो ऑन द ऑन द टुमारो मॉर्निंग आई जस्ट अपलोडेड द सेकंड पार्ट बट बिफोर वी सी द फर्स्ट पार्ट वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी सी अबाउट सम एल्गोरिथम कोडिंग क्वेश्चन दैट इज ऑफ मीडियम लेवल प्लस एडवांस लेवल एंड एज वी नो दैट माउंट ब्लू एग्जाम ऑन द फर्स्ट अगस्त सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो ओके सो एज यू कैन सी दैट ऑन द हैकर रैंक एल्गोरिथम सेक्शन देर आर सो मैनी क्वेश्चन प्रेजेंट फॉर दैट ओके यू हैव टू सॉल्व ऑन सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक लाइक स्ट्रिंग्स डायनेमिक प्रोग्रामिंग ग्रीडी बिट मैन्यूपुलेशन एंड रिकर्शन ओके समथिंग अबाउट दे आर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ग्राफ थ्योरी एंड द गेम थ्योरी ऑल्सो बट यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस मोर questions from that okay if you if you just practice on some different website like hacker earth or the code shop so it will be very good okay so this is the some beginner uh, beginners not say like this is the intermediate questions that the question name is larry zare larry has been given a permutation of a sequence of natural number incrementing from one as an array he must determine whether the array can be sorted using the following operation any number of time okay choose any three consecutive indices and rotate their element in such way that abc is equals to bca and after that cab and after that abc okay as you can see that we have to uh, we have to just a natural we have we have a sequence of natural number and we have to increment from one as an array whether the array can be sorted using the following operation any number of time okay for example if a is equals to 165243 okay so as you can see that we have to first rotate that like uh, we uh, in that as you can see that abc so the bca so we have to just rotate the first following things after that 5 to 6 after that 5 4 3 after that 6 3 5 and 5 6 4 and as you can see that at the last there is an sorted array that is called the 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay we have a unsorted so we have to convert into sorted by using some rotate operation and the other operation okay and if it will on a new line for each test case print yes if a can be fully sorted means if it will be fully sorted so we have to print yes okay otherwise print no so we have a function uh, that is called the larry array and uh, it must return a string either yes or no and the input format is the first line contain an integer t the number of test cases the next t pair of lines are called what are the constraint and what is the sample input as you can see that so the sample input is uh, yes yes sample input is this and the sample output is yes yes no in the explanation as you can see that if the value of a0 is 3 1 2 okay so we have to rotate the 3 1 2 and the a1 will be go to 1 2 3 so a is now sorted so we have print on new line if i talk about 1 3 4 2 okay so this is the number of test cases whether it will be passes for that so the 1 3 4 2 will be rotate 3 4 2 so the a1 will be 1 4 2 3 now as you can see that a1 is 1 4 2 3 we have to rotate again and there is a a2 value that is called 1 2 3 4 so the a is now sorted we have to print on yes on new line N test case 2 no sequence of rotation will result in sorted a thus print no on new line okay for that we have just to implement the concept using very simple uh, concept as you can see that we have to just make the code and we have just to take the first input in range because we have to just check the what are the number of test cases value after that we have to we have input okay as we know that we have just different type of input value and uh, all the input value are given in the list format okay so this is the very important point that because we have to just perform the rotation operation so we have just take the value after that after that as you can see that we have initialized this sum is equals to 0 because we start from the 0 okay so another for loop for rotating the value okay and uh, this is the very important point that we have to just take the another for loop okay after that we have another for loop for uh, values rotation as you can see that we have to uh, we have to just check the values from 
i plus 1 okay n okay so we have just to check the value from that and uh, we just check the value that if a of j okay if a of j is less than a of i okay why we consider this because we have to rotate the value and arrange in the sorted manner okay so this sum will be increases by 1 and uh, if it will be not okay and uh, if it will be not so we just the print the yes value okay yes we have to print the yes value if some if some percentile okay i just uh, put that if some okay if we print that yes if some percentile to equals to zero means the value is zero else we have to print the no because we check the values for the rotation okay i just uh, run that code and uh, see that uh, uh, number of test cases is passed or not as you can see that congratulations sample test case 0 and sample test case 1 is passed but this is not sufficient because we have to just running the all the test cases okay so as you can see that this is the solution that is related to this question but this is just a, okay so this is just a intermediate question okay because there are the three coding question that is asked on the first august exam for the mount blue exam so if i talk about a hard level question so as you can see that this is the algorithm hard question that is for the making candies you have to make and uh, you have to make a candies according to the machine and workers what are the some machines and the workers are required for making the candies and as you can see that this type of questions are generally asked in the heart level or in the some other question okay so if we check this so the first is basic question second is intermediate and third is very hard question so you have to prepare so many questions from here okay algorithms section like string concept sorting sorting graph theory greedic dynamic programming okay this type of concepts are generally asked in the coding examination okay because there is a another coding round after this coding round so you have to practice well for the first august exam and just practice all the or some of the algorithm question that is asked okay and uh, if i talk about previous year question so i i search a lot of uh, lot and but there is no previous year questions for the specific exam there is only that i just talk to candidates those they are selected those they are selected in the mount blue okay so they said that you have to prepare fully algorithm and data structure section and some of the algorithm question so i hope this video is useful for everyone if you have any another doubt you can drop your query in the comment section from tomorrow we started the live session for for the TCS Ninja hiring and the August NQT preparation for numerical reasoning verbal coding programming all section okay daily on the daily basis there is a live session for all of you because so many candidates just drop a comment or just DM me on Instagram that please make videos for the TCS NQT preparation thanks for support thanks for watching the video